I hope no, none of you leave here disconnected. But in order to get the connection, you got to first find out where, 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 where it is you plug in. See, genuine worship is basically an experience with God. It is the response of the human soul to the truth of God as that truth is made known to the individual. I, I, I want to say that again because this, this is deep. It is the response of the human soul to the truth of God as that truth is made known to the individual. It's responding to the truth when the truth hits you in the face and you realize you got to do something with it. It has, to, it, it, it has to be a part of, of true worship. One can read the Bible and never hear the voice of God. Amen. One can sing and not worship. Amen. One can attend public worship services and go away unblessed and unchanged. Amen. When we look at Isaiah and, and, and in this passage, when we look at what went on as he came into the temple and came face to face with God. It's a dramatic demonstration of the elements that constitute a life-changing worship experience. Four things have to go on in order to have a life-changing worship experience. The first thing is that this, 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 this first element has to be the element of contemplation. When Isaiah went in, 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 into the temple, he had a lot on his mind. Well, how could you say that, preacher? Well, he said it right there in the verse. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Now, we look at that and think, oh, yeah, well, Uzziah died, no, that's, you know, and he saw the Lord. But see, if you, if you go back and read the, the record, you'll find that Uzziah was a good king. They loved Uzziah. Uzziah was popular. You know, he, he, he came into some difficult times and fell on his face before God. God did miraculous things in the nation. The, the nation prospered. Everybody was doing well. It was a good time to be in the nation under Uzziah's reign. But Uzziah messed up. Uzziah, like most of us, had feet of clay. And Uzziah's problem was that he decided that an offering needed to be made in the temple, and he didn't trust anybody to do it for himself. So he decided that he was going to step up in the temple and make an offering. First of all, only folks who were supposed to go into the temple were the Levites, and only the high priests could go into the Holy of Holies. Uzziah decided, but I'm the king. Everybody like me, God will understand. No, God didn't understand because Uzziah was in disobedience and God struck him with that person. And for the rest of his life, he had to live in seclusion, suffering from leprosy. And finally, he died. Now, now, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's some interesting things that we have to look at here. First of all, worship was a regular part of Isaiah's uh, lifestyle. Well, how do you know that? Because he came from a priestly family. So he would have gotten a cycle uh, to, to, to come do his duty at the temple. So it, it, the temple was no strange place for Isaiah. It was, it was a place that, that, that he would go to. Most likely, it was a, a, a heavy occasion because now the king of Judah was dead. And whenever there's a tra change in leadership, folk always wondering what's going to happen now. And the next question, how that going to impact on me? I'm, I'm, I'm quite sure that, that, that he was thinking about all of that. Also, I'm quite sure he was thinking about mm, Uzziah, if he had just kept clean and stayed out the temple, he might still be king. And see, some folks even theorize that Uzziah was so popular as a king that Isaiah might have been guilty of a little bit of hero worship. We put a note there, folks. You know, we, we, we excited to have Barack Obama in the White House, and we pray for him daily. 
but 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 you know we also got to deal with the fact that he is human he's going to make some mistakes and we as much as we love him and as much as we want him to be successful we also have an obligation to let him know when his socks don't go all the way up nobody wanted to tell Uzziah don't go into the temple you the king, man. You do whatever you want to do. Now the king was dead. Isaiah was wondering what's going to happen in the future. And, 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 and he's wrestling with all of this. And he goes to the temple. See, when you come to worship, contemplation ought to be a major part of your worship experience. Yeah, you ought to come here with some stuff on your mind. Can I get some more volume on number one? You ought to come here with, with, with some things that you're contemplating. Yes, you ought to come here and seek God's face on how you're going to deal with some of the dilemmas that we face daily. You ought to come here thinking about the world and what's going on in the world and, and seeking God's face on what we ought to do about it. Contemplation ought to be a major part of your worship experience. When we go to vote, you ought to pray before you vote. And pray you get the right person in there. Then after you voted, you need to keep on praying that that person that you thought was right, pray that they are right and that they will do what God will have them to do. We ought to be contemplative when we come into the worship experience. Even though his mind was... Was, was disturbed and, and he was on the search for certainty, he came into the temple and had the strangest experience of a lifetime. He comes in and the first thing he sees is God sitting high and lifted up. 